Benjamin Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with mail day number 51. Yes, 51 mail days. There's 52 weeks in a year. It's November, so I think I'm going to have more than one mail day video per week of the year, uh, believe it or not. So this mail day is three gold Dame Lillards in PSA slabs and then a bunch of baby Jordans. As you guys know, I've kind of talked about this. I've started a little uh, what I call a parallel PC, but that's sort of confusing because the way the word parallel is used in the hobby. So we'll call it a, uh, a second Michael Jordan PSA 8 personal collection where I am uh, buying all of the same types of Michael Jordan cards that I chase in very high grades, whether it's PSA or BGS 9.5. I'm buying those cards in PSA 8 grades during this dip in the market and picking them up for uh, really low prices. This is sort of my backup PC. So if the day ever comes where I do decide to liquidate my high-end Michael Jordan collection, it won't hurt quite as bad. Hopefully this will lessen the blow and I'll still have all of these beautiful PSA 8s of the exact same cards, just in a much lower grade that I can keep uh, and uh, retain my status as a collector in the hobby if I ever do decide to liquidate any of my high-end Jordan stuff. Again, there's nothing imminent coming. I have no intention of selling those high-end Jordan cards for a very, very long time, especially not in this market. And so, uh, but that just gives you kind of an idea of what I'm doing with this Michael Jordan PSA 8 PC. But uh, enough talk. So I've got your uh, cards pulled up for my mail day. Again, today is uh, November 7th. I'm not sure when you guys will uh, actually be watching this, probably in a week or two, week and a half, something like that. But uh, the 2021 Damian Lillard Gold Shimmer, this is a pop one, right? So I've got the one. Uh, PSA 10, these shimmers, just like the golds, are uh, serial number to 10. The shimmers are not quite as expensive, not quite as valuable, not quite as uh, highly sought after in the market. I personally don't like the fact they even created these things. Uh, I think it sort of lessens the worth of gold. It's sort of a poor man's gold, basically. Uh, I would be nice to pick up the 2021 Prism true gold and pair it with the shimmer that would look cool so uh, i don't mind dumpster diving and picking up the uh, the poor man's serial number to 10 gold shimmer so that's what this is the from uh, the year 2021 prism uh, that is again it's a pop one card so number two is pop two card i like this card a lot this is one of the favorite uh damian lillard insert cards in my entire pc i really like the look of the plus minus i'm the uh <laughs> I'm used to looking at box scores. The T minus three, two, one. This is the gold parallel, obviously. So it is serial number to 10, as you can see on the back, number nine out of 10. Uh, but I like this year's look very much. In fact, I like the prior year's looks as well. Uh, but this one just looks really good with the black and yellow. <coughs> and then the black matches Damian Lillard's uniform. And of course, it's gold and it's got that gold tint to it. Uh, really good looking card. Uh, pop two card. Um, and I've got one of the two, hopefully one of my uh, Lillard collector friends in my Lillard collecting IG group chat has the other one. Who knows? You never know. Uh, that is card number two on the mail day. Card number three is this reigning threes. I stepped out of my prism lane and jumped into the optic just because I picked this card up from a real good uh, collector friend of mine. This is a PSA 10, which makes it a pop three. Again, always serial number to 10. These golds are even in optic. Uh, card number seven out of 10. Remember, Lillard's the one player, you're never getting his jersey number uh, because it's the same thing with JaVale McGee because I think he's double zero. But uh, <laughs> in fact, we were at the Mavericks game and my wife said, what is wrong with that guy double zero? What is the story behind him? Like even, even just never watching basketball, she knew something wasn't quite right, right? Uh, JaVale McGee is an oft featured uh, player on Shaq and a Fool because of his, uh, is hijinks and monkey business. Those are a couple words I'm gonna bring back uh, that old people used to say back in the day. Hijinks and monkey business. Uh, but anyway, this is the reigning threes insert from Optic uh, featuring Dame Lillard. Again, it's gold, it's serial number 10, it's a PSA 10, uh, which means I needed it in my collection because I love it. Uh, pop three for that card. Now we're gonna talk about a bunch of baby Jordans, right? And so when I say baby Jordans, I mean PSA eights, not nines, not sevens, eights, right? So eights is what I've decided, PSA only eights, is what I've decided for the secondary Jordan collection. Look how beautiful that hologram is. And this year, uh, the uh, 1991 Upper Deck Award winner, AW4 hologram, there's also an AW1, which is a little more expensive. Uh, I picked this up, I think for 
twenty dollars on the nose out the door in the PWCC weekly auction number forty two. It's like pop eight trillion. Uh, but uh, again, it's just a beautiful card. It's a card that I remember collecting as a kid uh, when Upper Deck first came out and started producing um, basketball cards. But this is the most valuable player, AW four hologram. Right, holograms were a big deal back then. You know, Upper Deck came out with the actual hologram like logo on the cards for the baseball cards and then this entire card was a hologram so uh, happy to pick that one up and right behind it there it is the 1991 upper deck award winner aw1 card this is the scoring leader uh, award winner that's the award right the aw4 was he won the most valuable player award the aw1 is he won the scoring title there's also an aw9 which i'll pick up at some point in psa 8 and psa 10 condition uh, but this hologram's cool it's got jordan uh, leaning and then uh, you know in the background if you swivel it you can't do it obviously with a still photo but uh, if you kind of swivel it it's uh, really cool. On the back of the card, you can see those stonewashed denim looking Nets uniforms that, you know, remind me of Derek Coleman and Kenny Anderson and Keith Van Horn and some of those guys back in the day. Uh, but uh, this card reeks early 90s. So 91 Upper Deck Award winner, hologram PSA 8, AW1. So two holograms and PSA 8. Inside, outside card was super cheap. I think I got it for like 16 bucks. No exaggeration. Uh, I think minimum, just over the minimum bid got it for me. Um, I mean, it is $15, $18, $15 to grade with PSA now. So 16 bucks, happy to have it. And that is the inside outside, not in a true insert. This is just a subset card within the 1993 uh, Ultra product, but a pretty cool card nonetheless, you know, with the ball going through the hoop. I never really noticed that was a ball back there. So it is a ball with kind of like a magenta type uh, color to it. And the rim just really pops like these these high def images really pop um, on these uh, on these cards in the PWCC vault and another this one's a little bit higher I think I paid 50 bucks for this uh, I also own the card in a PSA 10 and I should have said all of the other cards you've seen I already own the PSA 10 uh, the, the PSA 10 dynamic dunks is a very difficult card to gym and, and the reason is as you can see look at this top right corner you see how you can see the whitening on that corner and uh, probably on the bottom right as well let's see if we can get it yeah a little bit there uh, the back is notoriously the problem look at that top edge so you see all that whitening that's why it's so difficult to find the card in a PSA 10 um, the PSA 8 is not that rare uh, it's really not that impossible of a pack pull card um, but I needed it in the 8 for my baby Jordan collection and there it is that's the dynamic dunks from 1993 skybox and uh, again this was one of uh, jordan's earlier inserts 92 93 that's when those inserts started to show up so uh added that one to the collection this is the sp promo in a psa 8 pick that one up i know i paid uh, i think i paid 16 dollars 46 for this i do hate that sometimes the images are so high def that this little white hair and this little white mark right there it looks like it's on the card i don't think that's on the card that's just my guess uh, but if you have anything on the surface of these cards, the high def images that PWCC takes, it's not hiding. So if you have a hair or there's like a, a minute scratch on the case, it looks glaring. Uh, so keep that in mind. But SP Promo PSA 8, card number 23, not coincidentally. Again, I paid, I think, 16 bucks for this. Hardwood Leaders, PSA 8. I do own the card in a PSA 10, which I'm really happy about. Another card with uh, four black corners and four black edges on the front. Obviously, this one has a glaring defect on the top right corner, which is why it's a PSA 8. Uh, but 16 bucks it's in the slab it's in the it's in the it's in the pc and it's in the vault talk about impact mike long ago earned his spot among the nba's all-time greats yes he did uh back in 1996 card number 123 next on the list is a, a little bit bigger card i think i paid about 155 bucks on this one maybe 160 something like that it was uh, also in the pwcc weekly auction number 42 i think it's a great looking copy of an eight to be quite honest with you i mean usually centering on these holding court refractors is the issue i like my refractors without the coating sue me comment below let me know are you a peel the coating guy or are you a leave the damn coating on there guy i follow directions and the directions say peel here so i peel uh, and i buy the cards where it's been peeled because refractors need to refract and they don't refract if there's a coating on there so do i own some coating cards yes i do but i bought them that way if i bought a card and it had coating on there i would probably peel it off before i submitted it to grade 
Uh, but this is the Holding Court Refractor number HC2. It's a PSA 8. Really good looking card in hand. These things, Refractor Jordans from the 90s are just awesome, man. They're just super 90s. Here's probably why I've hit an 8. That's a really bad top to bottom centering or left to right, depending on how you're holding the card on the back. Uh, definitely not centered on the back. The, the front really does look pretty good to me. Um, I mean, it it looks really good left to right, and it's maybe a little off top to bottom on the front. The back is noticeably off top to bottom, but um, this was probably the biggest card in that PWCC weekly auction. Like I said, I went dumpster diving. I wasn't chasing any big Jordans because I was going to the Dallas show and spend a few bucks down there on some bigger Jordan cards. So uh, this was the biggest Jordan card that I picked up. But to uh, to recap for you guys, I'm at the 10-minute mark, but uh, the three gold Lillard inserts, happy to add those to my collection, uh, especially in PSA 10, PSA 10, PSA 10, pop one, pop Pop two, pop three, can't go wrong there. And then a bunch of baby Jordan PSA eights, uh, inserts and subset cards from the 90s. That's it, guys. As always, I appreciate you guys coming along for my collecting journey and watching these mail days with me. This is really just a way for me to account for what I'm doing and kind of recount what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and kind of talk my way through it. And sometimes it's fun because I'll share pairings and trios and look at card ladder value and dive a little bit. Not so much in this video, uh, but I do have some more bigger mail days coming. Uh, I picked up a gigantic lot. <laughs> of various Michael Jordan PSA 8 cards. So I'm going to probably have one of these mail days coming up in the next week or so. You're going to tune in and it's going to be about 30, 40, maybe 50 cards, all PSA 8 Jordans. And so I will put all that in one mail day because I don't want to keep breaking that up for you guys. And we're going to go quick. I mean, we're going to hit bullet points. It may take 15, 20 minutes, but we're going to knock those out quick uh, because there's, you know, there's nothing inherently special that requires a ton of, you know, my verbal vomiting on the screen for you guys when it comes to those PSA 8 Jordans. But I know you guys like to look at them and just see which ones I've, I've tacked onto the collection. So we'll do another big mail day video coming up. Those are being curated right now. So uh, that will be interesting. I shipped them to, uh, to PWCC uh, recently. So they're still being uploaded and they're almost final. And I'll share that video with you when those come in. Uh, plus, I'll go ahead and share um, the mail day of the cards I did pick up at the Dallas show. When those cards get to the vault, I'm going to ship those cards to the vault as well so maybe a couple weeks from now for those cards as well and i'm always buying in the pwcc weekly so there'll be more mail days coming and anyway as always thank you guys for watching if you watch the videos please hit the subscribe button it helps me with youtube uh, i'm almost begging you i think i am begging you please hit that subscribe button and feel free to share the link to any of my videos with any of your friends. I'd really appreciate it if you'd spread the word. There's no really way for me to blare it or broadcast it globally. So uh, word of mouth and just uh, satisfied customers and entertained viewers is the only way for my channel to grow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the time. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. And peace.